Albert Pope was uh, native of Massachusetts. He was one of millions of people in this country that went to the 1876 Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia. And he was quite taken with the exhibition by an English bicycle maker. Over the next couple of years, he was able to, this is 1876, he um, bought out the two American companies that had the English patent and started manufacturing bicycles. He hoped to be able to manufacture bicycles on his own. His company was not geared up to do that, so he looked around New England. He found the Weed Sewing Machine Company here in Hartford. He had contracted with them to manufacture about 50 or 60 as a kind of a trial run. And it, you know, it just it took off immediately after the, after the first batch was made. And these were the bicycles known as penny farthings with the, the big front tire and the very small uh, rear tire. And by 1890, um, it was the Pope Manufacturing Company and they were making exclusively bicycles. And Pope really engineered the bicycle craze of the 1890s. The main factory was on Capitol Avenue, which roughly where the uh, electric cogeneration plant is now. He built a tube works on Bartholomew Street, much of which is still there. And also, he acquired the Hartford uh, Rubber Tire Company, which is a, was a, in, a, in a building that faces Park Street on the corner of Bartholomew Street, and some of that is still there. Given the number of employees that he employed, their dependents and the, you know, the small shop owners in the neighborhoods that these people lived, he was probably directly and indirectly responsible for the well-being of about 10 to 12, maybe 15,000 residents of Hartford. I, I want to ride my bike.